What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today's video, we are shopping for some new koi for the pond. I've just showed you the first shop we've been to, and now we're in the second shop. Let me show you what fish we're looking at. So check out some of these koi. Now, I don't know if, know if I'm meant to be filming in this shop, so what I'm going to be doing now, I'm not going to talk in this, I'm going to just show you what fish are in this shop, hopefully get some bits, and then I'll start talking when we get back to the, sh the house, back to the pond to put the fish in it. So let's go around and show them what, you, what fish are in the shop. Just on the way back from the fish shop, um, we've got some cool fish, they're in the bags down here. I'll let you know what they are uh, when we get back home, obviously. About 20 minutes to get home, something like that, it's not too far, it's only 10 onwards. So yeah, let's wait till we get back and I'll show you what we've got. Right, back from the fish shop, we've got more fish. So, this is what he's got, this stunning, what is it, a butterfly koi, wasn't it? It's a butterfly koi, I think so. Yeah, stunning butterfly koi, it's like bright white, it's an absolutely beautiful fish. And then we've got some just some classic koi here, which that one there is very similar to the butterfly, and then the other one's very similar to what he's got, but obviously nowhere near as expensive what we paid for last week. But um, let's put them in here, let them acclimate for 20 minutes or so. Come back out, put them in. These two are really small compared to the ones you've already got. Tiny, aren't they? Yeah. 
But the nice thing about court is that they don't fight. Well, I hope they don't. It's not like arowana. You can put a small arowana like that with a big arowana like that, it'd be gone in seconds. But yeah, the pond's starting to fill up slowly. Um, obviously, we need to get loads more fish for this pond because it's, it's massive. And we can also get loads more smaller fish and then grow them out and later on if the pond gets too overstocked, we can all sell them and get rid of them, so it's quite nice. And grow the fish up to find out what ones you want to keep with all the different colours and stuff. So let's give them 20 minutes or so, then we'll come back out and let them go. Right, it's been about 20 minutes now. Ollie's got himself a mop as well, cleaning the bottom. <laughs> Works really well, isn't it? What is it? Just a B&M oh, bottom. Oh, sad for mate. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it just cleans all the bottom. It's really good for cleaning that window and tile as well. But, like I said, let's get the pond, let's get the fish. Now let's start with this big one. Really nice fish, this big one. So in the shop, this is as known as a butterfly boy. But some of you lot out there probably know what the actual name, proper name is for this fish. So if you do, comment below. So that's what it looks like there, look. Stunning fish. So that's the first one in, I bet you can't even see it in the social. Oh, there it is, the bottom there. It's lovely fish, isn't it? You all have a two, a lot bigger though. Be stressed for the next few hours. Right, then the next two are in here, these are really small, these two. Now, these are just called classic koi, weren't they, Ollie? Mm -hmm. So these are just classic koi. They're so small and they're really hard to get hold of. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's a cool little fish, isn't he? And then this one here, the classic koi. That's very similar to the white one we just put in. Oh. Dog's gone under the pond. Oi, get out. Where are they gone, the little ones? No. So that's all the fishes added. Fishies, there's one. Down one down there, look. Oh, the other way. The other way, come on, the other way. Just down the bottom there, look. And then the other one is down there, Ollie. Look, if you do a top view, don't drop the camera. You can see them, you can see how small the fish are. Tiny little things, aren't they? It's all clear it is. It's on the bottom. So we've look. got to pick what's up the, 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 one the, camera. the spot on turn the camera now, that's it. So we've got to go and pick up the other koi. Um, it won't be next weekend, because that's my stag do weekend. And uh, we're going out all day Saturday, so Sunday's gonna be an absolute row out probably. I'll probably be laying in bed with a banging head. But the weekend after, um, we'll probably pick them up then. And then the weekend after is my wedding. So yeah, we've got a free weekend in between to go and pick them up. But that's them three fish added, which look absolutely wicked, but you can't really see them because they're such small fish. There's one of them just at the back there, and now they've just met up with the other two bigger fish he's got in there. So fingers crossed they should settle in well. But they're gonna get a bit stressed out, Ollie, with that mop in there, I'll tell you that much. You're better off letting that settle for a minute and then doing it again later on. Let the fish sink and settle for a bit, Ollie. But that's the update done on the pond for now. Um, it's five fish in there now. It will be six in a couple of weeks, like I said. And um, yeah, it's going really well. Everything's surviving. All the filters are running really well. Um, the water's normally crystal clear, but he's messing it up with all the sort of the silt land at the bottom at the moment. But that's it. Thanks for watching the video as always. Like and subscribe to the channel, ding the notification bell, and uh, keep it real, everyone.